<clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna switch in because there's like no real reason not to. I'm glad, you know, it just kind of occurred to me. I didn't make the connection, but the menu music is the same. I actually really like that. I don't know why. I just feel like that's one thing that doesn't really, it's kind of cool that it doesn't change. Do you guys ever get foot cramps? Oh my god. Out of nowhere, my foot's just like, hate you. Okay. I love these fields with like the flowers and stuff they added. It feels like when I make a habitat and plant it too. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at with things. Go back through the quest. So, active quest is we gotta go to um, Plain Song and convince the chorus to let us go get Minerva. Um, this is up north of where we're heading. This we're gonna level up a little bit before we do. Uh, really, there's not a whole lot else to do except for find some stuff by way of exploring. Um, and that's something we can do uh, on our way, right? Oh, there's some fire gleam here I haven't gotten. Hold on, let's do that. I forgot about that. I was thinking the only fire gleam here was needed for the quest, but I think there's just some, if I remember correctly, around one of these walls. I don't fully remember where. I know there was some to solve the, the place, but we did that. Wrong button. Does Fire Gleam come up on my focus? It does, so it's over there. Okay, let's find it. Oh, I, re I remember. I think it was that was what we moved this over here for. It's kind of hard to remember, per se, because we... Aloy! It's just, it's just jumping, Aloy. It's just jumping. Okay, there we go. This would be a pretty place to do a photo shoot. If we're getting into it. Okay, that was completely unnecessary. And why was I up there? I know for a fact there was fire gleam around here because I remember encountering more than just the fire gleam that we used to solve the puzzle. I just don't, there it is, okay. And it was up here, okay. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of destruction. Oh, this, okay, it was just another way up here, which we did. I must have done this the hard way, whatever was up here. Okay. Well, that's fine. I could show some... Oh, I could do... I could do something really cool here. Hold on. Hold on. Everyone just stop a second. By everyone, I mean just me. So, I don't care if I stop and do a little photo shoot because there's going to be no one here to be bothered by it. Definitely change the face a little. Okay. That. But the question is, if I change the time of day, I'm going to be disappointed if time of day does nothing for me. But we're going to find out. I guess it depends on the direction of the sun. Almost. Okay. Potential. Potential. Nope, not a. Not good. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Nah, okay. This spot, at least, is not as cool as I thought it could be. Um, here might work better, just because of the direction of the sun. Wrong button. like 
freedom of the mountain, but also, eh, you know, maybe I don't like the focal length thing. Maybe I'd rather something like that, right? I don't really like how it looks like it's picking her nose, but let's just see if I can even do something with this before we spend too much time getting it right. Hey, John, welcome. Just messing around with a bit while we give people time to come in. I hope the day is treating you well so far. So that's pretty, but it's not doing... I want shadows on her face, like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, I think, I think there's potential here, but I think I'm going to come play with this off stream sometime, because I think it's going to take a lot of fine-tuning. That people probably don't like so So as I was saying, we're going to head along up to Plain Song, but hit up some stuff and things along the way. Um, so specifically that shelter, and from there we might go check out what some of these question marks are. Doing well? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Fast travel wouldn't be bad. Oh, what's going on over here? Are they fighting? They're not fighting. Okay. I wouldn't let me call them out. It's weird. Don't know why it won't let me call them out. But I guess that's fine. Just gonna kinda clamor about here. Still only. I wonder if it's because of the um, quest. Like, until I advance the main quest, I can't call a mount or something. I couldn't on the side quest we ended uh, the stream with yesterday, but I assumed that was because I had to walk alongside her and so it didn't want me to take a mount. But maybe you have to walk to Plain Song for some reason. Let's see. Maybe I can override one? Well, let me override a charger. Maybe I just can't call them out for some reason. I don't know. He's just gonna go get in a fight. They're always fighting. You? Okay, well I can mount the jerk. That's weird. I don't know why it wouldn't let me call one. Maybe something happened to my mount. I don't know. Like I still have to override one. I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Have we been to that little We have not been to this little shindig. Let's go check it out. Skydrifter site. I just want to discover the Skydrifter site. This is not working. Okay, well, apparently I didn't discover it, so it's fine. Hey, Kathleen, welcome. Haven't really missed much. We've just been goofing about on our way to playing song. Stay here. today, Kathleen. Hello, I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to take steps. Ooh, outfit upgrade. Oh, Nora Champion, which is what I think we're wearing. Sure is. Might not be the one I'm wearing wearing. Long leg wing burner. Okay, I'm gonna have to get those. Can we upgrade our throwy thing? Yeah, we can. 
I wish to do that because this thing is pretty great. It's going to be very expensive to upgrade. <laughs> Don't even care. Some of these I'm not. The hunter bow would actually... How much is it? Okay, this is not expensive to upgrade. So we'll do as long as it's not using anything super pre precious. All right, it's very rainy today. You must be getting the rain that we got um, yesterday. Or not yesterday, uh, Tuesday. We had the rains. Okay, let's see what we got here. So this is now upgraded to do a little bit more. North Thunder Sling, Fire Hunter Boat. So this has Fire and Corruption. This has corruption and regular damage. So I've thought about, and that does 29 with the damage bonus. So this probably does more damage when all is said and done. I'm kind of thinking that eventually I'm going to switch to this. Because this way I don't have two sets of corruption arrows, which is just kind of taking up space for no reason. Um... But for now, I'm going to leave it be. A lot more weapons than I feel like I really need. So I have this one. Where's my other sharpshooter bow? Or maybe this is my sharpshooter bow. Maybe I only have one. Oh, you can be. Oh, that's right. I didn't do it because... That's pretty useless, actually, for a rope caster. I didn't upgrade it because I thought that was my, a different, okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this then, because that's my only sharpshooter bow. I was thinking it was a different sharpshooter bow. And we can upgrade it all the way, which is excellent. I know this is not remotely riveting, but I actually didn't have time to play uh, between streams. So here we are. I'm feeling... Let's do knockdown power since this already is supposed to be for knockdowns. For when they get knocked down, even though they get up again. Yeah, yeah. Weather has that habit of showing up at different places at different times. Okay. Uh, so we're here. Now, even though that's where we're supposed to go, I kind of had a thought of popping up over here to see what this stuff is. And then we'll go do the main story. It's going to be bad for my game health. Going through the blight. Um, Clever one. I did not mean to get into a fight. We don't have to fight. We can run away. We don't have to fight. Hey, Jonas, welcome back. How's it going? We don't have to fight. We can go. Feel like that. discover the charger site. It's going well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm just getting started over here. Is this listed? Okay, this is listed as discovered now. So we'll just move on out of here. So that I don't really didn't come here to fight. Came here to unlock map things. Something that is still aggroed. Oh. Well, this is intriguing. What 
do we have here? Survey drone. Is it monitoring local biosphere? Who knows what data it might reveal? Am I supposed to kill it? I'm assuming I'm supposed to kill it. problem is there's no way to catch it. I don't have like a net or something. I mean I suppose I could hit it with a rope caster. But I don't think that's gonna catch it. our way down here. Good job, old Razor. You're gonna snap out of it in a second, but until then, we were friends. It's gonna wear off, and then I'm gonna stab him. Drone go. There he is. It's not working because I think I need. Hold on. I need my long shot bow. I don't think I can shoot it down. Mm. Okay. According to Aloy, I can't shoot it down, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. Um, hmm. Am I supposed to just keep scanning it? Huh. I think maybe... My suspicion is, <coughs> see how I, there's like the, the crystal fungus over there? I think if I break in, I might be able to jump up and climb on it. Yes, there are fireflies. It's very cool. Oh, it doesn't smell any better than it looks. <coughs> it's okay, Aloy. I think we should be good to mostly run through it, because we've killed just about everything. <coughs> Get out of the light if I can. 
Entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. <coughs> Aloy, do you want to say one of those helpful things? Did we did we achieve what we're trying to achieve? Find a place to connect the drone modules. Loot the drone. Okay, so we did do it. Okay, cool. So I don't need to stay here anymore. Is basically what's happening. We can get out of the light. If I go to the map, it doesn't have that. Okay, cool. So then we'll try to figure out what that is. It's another thing to investigate over here. So I'm guessing we eventually find some sort of later, for sure. computer interface and I can take all of the drones I found there maybe. We'll see. Off we go. We're on top of the little fortress now. Heading to whatever this question mark is. Long legs. Things get loud when you have long legs involved. I do kind of need to fight a long leg. your head I might want. Okay, what else is 
Use spear on the on them. I can uh, I can attack them with the spear. It does more damage if they're already knocked down. Um, the thing is, there's certain components that only have value if you knock them off before the animal dies. So, like, if I shoot those antlers off or something. They only, like, stay as a valuable component if I haven't killed the animal first, and I can't do that as well with the spear. Okay, so this is some other tool we haven't found, so we can't do anything with this right now. But at least now that we've been here, it will... Oh, it's not actually saying that this is something we can't do. Maybe if I go up. Oh, maybe if I scan this, it will... Oh, it's one of the black boxes. Okay. This is interesting. I'll pull stuff from the scrap pile. Thank you. Very much would like that. So will be useful for when we. Damn it. Fine. You want to fight? I'll fight you. I have no problem fighting if you want to fight. It's just not gonna work well. Not as good with the spear as I am with bow and arrow. So we'll just drop the energy cell over here because it, it must have something to do with whatever this is. I mean, okay. This will not turn out well. I've gotten very good at fighting this. Ow! Oh! Okay, impressed. Impressed. You impressed me. But you're not going to be able to shoot any more fire when I take all those tubes off your back. canisters. I really want to get as many as I can because they're a little harder to come by. Okay, this is now marked as a black box. So we now know like what it is approximately. Ah! You know what? No. Skip, skip the flag. We'll just go to playing song now. Because I think it's very likely the, the plot will take us there next anyway, so we might as well go to plot. Go appeal to the chorus of playing song. I can't see where to climb. There's no way to reach it right now. There's no way to reach what? 
I think she meant the drone. I think it's just not registering that we have actually already done it. Yeah, that's what's happening. stock my health here on the way. Even though I actually have plenty in my stash. I think that's the tall neck we've already gotten. I'm assuming that's the tall neck we've already gotten. Yes it is. Okay. There's worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. This really is probably, like, I mean, like, this has got to be my favorite city design of any city I've been in in a video game. I, I can't immediately think of one I like better. There's Laurel and Zoe. You got a little exciting thing on top of your head. I got news. Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsaw. Okay. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. I like that there's just these little armor like benches. Taro could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. Our Taro armor really does look really good. I think that's this place. I do want to do. Oh, we have a. We have a side quest we can pick up as well as advancing the main quest. There must be something we can do. I wish I showed your confidence. I'm here, as promised. It's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. Sounds very harmonious to me. The subject of the cave the is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osirum. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. We'll go. We'll handle it. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and... Hey, Ray, welcome. Killers. You haven't really missed a whole lot. We just got to playing songs before. to talk to them. More vicious, with a strange purple glow. So Festus. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The... The fuss was already there. Many in the tribe, and most in the chorus, want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. <laughs> Varl is much more of the politician, and I mean that in a good way. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. 
As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. I think these are questions we've already so, asked. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. All right, there's a side quest in here somewhere. I think it's above me. Yeah, it is. Happy little exclamation point. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Hunting grounds. I prefer the sound of machines to sing. This is what I was trying to do. Frost hunter's bow. Slicing. Acid warrior's bow. Oh, so it's acid and. Oh. 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 Tempting. Actually, I have a fair amount of shards, so I should just get something. But part of me is like, I almost feel like just getting by with what I have is better. And then once I get the purple stuff, get just spending money I'm on purple back stuff. To the you do. Well, that's good. Certainly don't need to watch too much if you don't want to get stuff spoiled for you. But I think you'll like it. I've been really liking it. It's been a very well done game. Oh, you know what I didn't look at was armor. So we can see this is what I have equipped. Oh, it can take on a, a weave. What do I want to wear defense wise? I feel like that's better. This is pretty good armor. What's the difference? There's almost no difference in the look between these two. Maybe it's just because I painted one. Maybe when I painted one, it created a new one. I don't know. Nora Anointed, Nora Champion. <laughs> okay, we're gonna equip this one. We'll keep a look at the other one. Yeah, you really like the game, gotcha. She started getting ads for Forbidden West. There you go. They're always watching. I don't see why we wouldn't just keep trucking along, to be honest. Nervous? Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. It'll so the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. <laughs> it wouldn't be necessary if they were in cool. harmony. Maybe if we all I'm sang to, to Congress to sing all the time, again. it would help. Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. 
Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, let's go talk to them. <laughs> Just sing it. He didn't like me. See, this isn't awkward at all. The dead silence. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. How about hello? If I can get it. Greetings, no. honorable the Nora, chorus. I've spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken, we die, and become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Wait. You're all just going to sit around until you become food for worms? Literally? <laughs> so says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. You're falling right into a trap, Aloy. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions, should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outland can save us. Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. It's an alarm! In fairness, the machines must have broken the cordon. So we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. Then we just go, which was what I was always gonna do. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. I'm just gonna jump off the edge with my glider. Just jump off the edge with my glider. Yeah, or that. That also works. This way, out the gate and around. But like, I get it, it's Aloy, she knows what's going on, she's trying to get Gaia and all that, but like, also, she's the outlander savior coming in to tell the poor, ignorant peoples how they should really live their life, so... She should be a little bit more polite. These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. Oh. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend planes. We have to move. I mean, I, I just say white savior except for race is another thing in this game. Where are you going? We're just gonna shimmy past. Do you understand how much loot I want? Come sit here. Something like that. Yeah. Look at those flames. 
I mean, like, they can be wrong. It's, they, they shouldn't Deadly. just sit back and watch their children die. And also, maybe I shouldn't just come and enjoy this thing, you know? Both things can be true. Zoe has an absolute right to call the chorus out, because she lives there. I don't. And in fairness, it, it was really Zoe who called them out. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. That's what she has Varl for, apparently. This is very pretty. I would like to stop and take in the sights, but I guess I can't. More machines. Where the fudge are we running to? Oh, we're going not in the direction I thought we were going to go. I thought we were going to go up there. Okay. That's fine. On your lead. Let's fight. See what we got here. Claw Striders. Apex Strapper. Alright, let's get some work done. I'm just hearing something that's up the next pass. Yeah, that's fine. I mostly just want to get loot, because I did a lot of fighting there, and so I'd kind of kind of like to loot. There's the hunter arrows. I knew he tossed me a bunch of stuff. So I said no for the over. She was like, nah. We got business. You can come back later. Did they come get me now? I don't understand what's happening.
hear something. Must be frustrating at a base level for the young people in the Utaro to see their leaders choose an action when it's clear they wanted action. A lawyer is more diplomat, but at least Zoe seems to step up. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure. Fair. And like I said, Zoe was the one to do through. it, not me. What They're not going to listen defenders? to me. We better be ready for anything. Especially, like, if anything, they'd be more inclined to listen to Marl because he's at least been among them, you know? Machine and, like, taking time to get to know them. What do you want? Okay, fine. Rude. And it's blue armor. We don't have any blue. Oops. Vertical shock traps are now available to craft. These special traps can damage flying targets as well. Ooh. All right. What new armor do we have here? Okay. I'm not sure. I'm digging the hat. Not. Not. No. Not sure. I'm. I'm feeling the hat. Um, stronger to fire and ice. Weaker to acid. I think is what that means. I mean, it's definitely, definitely making you blend it. I might grab that. I don't know what kind of enemies I'm going to face in here. I will take some new armor. Thank you. Down to a drizzle. Almost over. May the land gods forgive our trespass. And I would like to get up there. How do I do that? Hmm. We, I bet what we come that? back around. A kind of wall made of light. <laughs> we'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead, Aloy. Up here. Is that a light or an object? It's just a light. I was like, is it the stones? It will work well in armor. Got it. Okay. What do you guys think? Can you make okay, I guess you did not have any problem at all with the jump actually. Okay. You could have made it look like it was a slight challenge. So I could be kind of excited. Part of me wants to take pictures because I don't know if this will let me back in ever, but part of me is like, eh, I probably should not stop now and take pictures. That's what New Game Plus is for. really interesting lighting in here, so, you know. What's that ahead? Like a cauldron door. Repair bay? That's different than a cauldron. Hmm. Should be awkward if you, uh, never played Frozen Wild. Understand what's going on in there. You're gonna need one of these. Good thing she has a sack full of them. On the temple, just like this. I 
There's blue light on the door. Yeah, take some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I help. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. Honestly, if you're it, having the decision of like, do you tell these people that, you know, it's an AI instead of a god or whatever, and you want to have that conversation, I feel like handing out focuses is the best way to do it. And that's how Aloy found out herself. And it lets people kind of interact with it and learn it at their own pace. Let's go. And then you're showing them. You're not just like, oh, I'm smarter than you. You have to find the core of They can experience it. Aloy, going somewhere? There's so much metal. Who built this place? What are you guys doing? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. It's the kangaroos! Machines are coming. We'll have to take them out. Right behind you, Aloy. They're on your way. These guys are weak to acid. Sorry, Varl. Watch out! There's usually an inordinate amount of kangaroos. Gods come and go. Then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired too. And the spirit, they're after us. In here, in the river. Whoa. I have a feeling that's not all. Yeah, if there's lava, I really feel like we found Festus again. Hephaestus was the AI that was the demon in charge, or daemon in charge of, uh, Yellowstone in the frozen wilds. So if you were not there for the end of the frozen wilds, we found out that the daemon corrupting everything was the AI Hephaestus, the um, uh, sub uh, the sub AI. Appears he's infected this base that's also supposed to have Minerva in it. Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killer machines. It's called a Festus. Even the mountain is rotten to the roots. Looks like those cables. 
cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. What are those paddles on the floor? Clearly I'm supposed to jump oh no. somewhere. What have I done? shoot the gears. I can walk them into place. Make a path up. Okay. That works. You know what? Sure. We'll go with that. So, can you stand on that panel? Like this? Good. Stay there. That did something. Yeah, no, thanks, Varl. I'm really glad you're here. Would not have figured that out on my own. Go stand on something, would you? Something to weigh this down? Go up, Aloy. Go up. Okay, or don't. That's fine. More pillars. If by something to weigh this down, you mean, you know, could my people right come over here? Did you find a way across, Aloy? I'm working on it. I want to try like coming up here so I can have something heavy. I want to hear what she's saying. Okay, I think I need that crate. Which makes me feel like maybe I'm supposed to. There we go. Okay. This crate should be heavy enough. You know what also would be heavy enough? Either of my two friends, if they decided to move. I can't fit the crate through that opening. Yeah, we can. We just gotta stand better. I bet the crate can go through the energy. I think I can get the crate for that shield. I have to go around. It can go through the shield. I can't. That's how that's gonna work. Grab it from the other side. You know who else could grab it from the other side? Either of my two friends. Yeah, 
doing so well without help. You guys shouldn't even think about me, honestly. I got it. There's no reason for you to come up here and do anything. There. Should be able to get across now. How's it going up there, Aloy? I think I'm getting close. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. So useful. <laughs> really should be programmed a mechanic where you can tell them to go. <laughs> the thing is, I don't think the game wants me to, right? The game doesn't want them to come do this for me. Oh, I needed to shoot this from down there, I think. The game wanted me to figure out, you know, the crate and everything on my own. It didn't want me to have them do it. And I know that. I just think it's dumb. How did I get up there before? See, they'll follow me when I'm down here. Holding up? But they won't follow me once I go up here. Cause I think the idea is like maybe they catch climb like I can or something. But also, like, if I had them, it would not be an actual puzzle. She's so high up. Don't fall, Aloy. Hey, thanks. All the way around, because I didn't get this one. Okay, now I can cross. Shit realized that it did not give me the quest change. <sighs> my gamer shoulders acting up. Now what am I doing? <gasps> yeah, and see there's an override panel. Festus's cables are all over that node. Maybe I can are moving they're drawing back we can climb up that vent okay cool i don't think you need me for that right it means you're just gonna show up okay i'm going in here i'm assuming you're just gonna show up okay right. how do we cross cables are twisted around that node on the other side i'll see if i can get to it we'll wait here I don't really expect Zoe to be able to do. <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. The other stuff was just climbing. How to get up to the node. Do. 
Come on over, you two. Hephaestus. It's taken over this whole place. Yeah, the volcano kind of is a calling card. Activate. Careful, Matrix. Fine. Looks like there's another node on the other side, near that door. Go do your thing. How to get to that node on the other side? Uh, I could probably glide, yeah? I would assume I could glide. Mark. Glidden? There's still no sign of fog. It's a big place. We'll keep looking. I think I can glide down there and then figure it out from there. Increase 2.5 20%. Sorry guys, I've tried to behave. I've tried to behave. But I can't any longer. This is too incredible. Get a nice shot of all three of us. That is potential. If we could sit still.
Carl's eyes are alive. Look at that. I kind of like that right off the bat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't help it. I'm not gonna be able to come back in here. What is it? It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines, but it wasn't always hostile. They used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. More of those cables covering that door. Should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Yep. Making good use of this. Okay, let's lay like, you know, a couple of traps. Because, you know, why not? Buy a couple, I literally need a couple. Because I don't think I can lay more than two. Did I go up to three now? Okay, I can now place three traps. What a life changer, you know? All right, time to get it done. Here we go. I'm sorry. Oh, right, that's fire. And not the good guy. Kids are then I'll get the big guy.
Artemis was soothing them, and then Hephaestus took us. Artemis over. It's still her god. Thank you, Varl. I do not wow. grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really, really heal our so. lands? Save. My people. Oh, that's fine. One step at a time. But it starts now. We go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Is there anything down Aloy, here that I want? The core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. Overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn this? I need the loot. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. It's this door. I get those overrides before moving on. They might come in handy. Like Alright, let's see what overrides we get. Crafted overrides. Wish I knew how to restore them. And there's data here from machines I haven't scanned yet. Bristleback? Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Up a little bit there. Okay, where am I supposed to press on to? New interlude. Eyes of the Earth. Oh, okay. Love that for me. Greetings, graduates of Cradle Nine. Welcome to the regional error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. This is gonna be cool. Whatever we're in for, it's gonna be really cool. Have a lot 
lot of blast plates, which is causing me a little bit of duress. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Whoa. It's a science Seen anything lab. like it before? No. There. That's our way out. And I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing in here worth having. Like some kind of scanning thing. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. This is spectacular. These color filters are going to be so cool to look at. I think we're going to keep it this way, though. That's the purpose of getting rid of this. Now this road is actually really ridiculous to try to look at. Up we go. Yeah, you guys should totally come with me. I bet you could do this, considering you could climb all that other stuff earlier. to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Locked. This is really hurting my eyes. Alert! Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Huh. I might be able to pull that open. This leads. Shoulder. 
so old. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Yeah, I can see it. Let's go this way first. Oh, thank God. It's a little bit, like, different color. Ugh. Get rid of the green shine and I can kind of see again. I'm so very tempted. I mean, look at the rainbow on her face. Ugh. So very tempted. Look at that. Okay, hold on. Wait for it. You gotta be patient with photo mode. There we go. It's all in patience. To get the unique lighting. light on our lips a little weird. I think I can adjust that. Okay. You can get kind of the same effect without the weird reflection on her. So we'll do something for I mean, look at that. You get, like, reflection off her peach fuzz on her face. That's just wild to me. The level of detail this has. I think I'm gonna want to use a filter because I want to see the rainbow on her face. Although that kind of brings it out, but it's always good to just look. I'm in a cool area. It's gonna take me back to the elevator shaft. Okay, let's go back in here real quick. What are all those cables in the center for? The nerve is shutting me out. Gotcha. I think this is where I came in. Yes, this is where I came in. Looks like those cables connect to something above. Okay. Seems promising. Okay. Let's go above is where there. I'm supposed to go. Oh, hey, we're outside. I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Well, we can go back the way we came. Where are we? Okay. Interesting enough. things. Oh, I'm close. <laughs> if I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. 
And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? And why did they want it back up? Well, they had the clone of Elizabeth to get the backup. I, I think we're missing that very obvious connection. Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. Aloy, no! Reach them. Uh, Aloy! I swear, sometimes you just do not understand where I wish you to climb. You know, like right now, I'm barely even directing you and you're just going, and then other times you're like, what's logic? Hoping would happen. Straight up. Straight up. We're gonna go get that stuff right here. There's plane song. I hope the Otaru oh, are yeah. doing okay after the attack. Secret tunnel through the mountain. Secret tunnel. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug oh. into this place. Guys, they need to stop doing this to me. All of these unique lighting situations. It's not it fair. Like some kind of dome. Wonder what's. change any of the lyrics to the song. It just worked. No! It's okay, Eli. This is how the computer works. Breathe. Minerva. I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Oh, she didn't put Gaia in. Okay, that's good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I... cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. As if... will cease. Thank you, 
Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Yeah, Gaia's back. Although she probably doesn't remember creating Aloy. Because this is a different version of Gaia. Uh... So no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Laurel, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh... waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. The fact that she analyzed all the data in Aloy's focus, she already knows what another version of herself did. She saw everything that Aloy saw, true, um, but Aloy has a different focus. She broke um, the first focus from the first game was broken and Silence had a copy, and then the focus that she used to communicate to Silence, she broke. Um, at the end of the last stream. So here she's mostly kind of looking at Aloy's memories somehow. I'm not entirely sure how she saw any of those images, to be honest. Because it's a, unless she has been backing her focus up into other focuses. What's all this? But if this she was it, intended as the way. main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few, to start with. You two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Yeah, so I'm guessing she found a way to back up the data. My, uh, my worry is that she so did it. This place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. 
It wasn't supposed to be this way. Um, I I worry that if she made a copy, it has supposed to be the lab. That was Silent spyware. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. This is very strange. I like the craft overrides. Okay. Yeah, I don't have plow horn stuff. Or wide mouth stuff. We haven't fought a lot of them. Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data for more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. I guess you wouldn't know. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Interesting. So Apollo was still... Yeah, but there's still a backup with the space people. What's this space for? Shower. This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. A little bit more privacy, though. Hey Gaia, why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. <gasps> Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did, with the help of machines. Through that door is a trail that leads towards Plainsong. So I can head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Correct. It's down here. More stuff to be on. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. What's all There's this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Aloy, you have now visited all accessible rooms of the facility. No, oh, it's nice of you to tell me that. Like some kind of storage room. I assume this is something that will probably like look cleaner every time we advance the story and come back, that sort of thing. Zoe's gonna be going through okay. it. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, they definitely stepped it up. But she's also around people more regularly, I think. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. 
All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Hopefully they're all in North America. Interesting that the continents would be the of same. Apollo, Artemis, and Aletheia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? We knew about Apollo and Aletheia. Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. So that's and Hephaestus? Land, water, sky. It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. Conveniently, but so you in have to all keep other back. respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They were dressed they had for machine Eurovision. servitors and a um a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. There's no way she can comprehend 81 trillion kilometers. I can't. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Yeah, I think that the survive they're either the survivors of the Odyssey or they're like possessed. Okay, so or they're clones, but somehow what's they're from the Odyssey. So far away and and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless. 
I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Yeah, as opposed to the other strangers who tried to kill you? From... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. So interesting. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understand. Oh, we already knew this, <laughs> He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. So the Apollo database was destroyed, but I don't think Apollo was destroyed. In theory... Um we could still get Apollo, and then in theory, the Farzinus would have the The three database. subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Gotcha. Given Hephaestus's importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. I Hephaestus see. dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. Yeah, I, I can see why too. Um, because in a lot of... I, I like the game so far, so like this is not a complaint. 
But what I think works so well about Zero Dawn is it was kind of so straightforward that when it started to get more out there with the story, um, it was kind of coming to you in pieces. Here they kind of went with the wild right out of the gate, but I also think that works only because, in a way, the fact that Zero Dawn had this very complex plot was a twist, because you almost, if you ask anybody why they played Horizon Zero Dawn, they played it for the robot dinosaurs. That's why I played it. I had people in my chat telling me that's why they played it. So you go, oh, I came for the robot dinosaurs and I stayed for the plot. Here, if you've played it already, like, you are already expecting a plot. There's no reason to, like, wait before you get to the crazy. Um, so I think that's smart. I do, there's a few elements of what's going on that I, in terms of mechanics, that I think are needlessly complicated, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm interested in where this goes. I, like I said, the, the fact that Far Zenith was going to be involved, I just didn't think they would connect this game to outer space. That seems like a little bit much. I really don't want this to end up where Aloy's like in a space suit flying over the earth. I just, I like her being so grounded for lack of a better word uh but we'll see where it goes and they may be able to do it in a way that i like if that's how it goes um but i think this also has a double-edged sword of like this is a ps5 game zero dawn is a ps4 game if you were like oh zero dawn's pretty popular i want to play the ps5 version and play this game phew, you are not gonna do well if you play forbidden west without playing zero dawn um, and I think that's probably part of it, too, is, is you, you can't jump in, right? So new players, younger players, I don't mean, like, kids, but, like, people who are kind of coming into consoles with the PS5 probably didn't go back and play Zero Dawn. So, I don't know. I, I, I can see ways why this didn't do as well, but I'm liking it so far. Go directly from Zero Dawn to Forbidden it helps rather than waiting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really glad I replayed it right before. Okay. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Well, they probably wrecked Unless... Far Zenith. Well, could it be that they want the planet for themselves? Mm -hmm. The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that, if they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus, and then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Yeah, I'm curious too. Oh, the other thing I really want to know, and I'll probably look into this once I'm done with the game, I just don't want to see spoilers now, is when did they come up with this? Like, Far Zenith is mentioned at the end of Zero Dawn. Um, Hephaestus is brought in largely more in Frozen Wilds. Um, I I'm really curious how much of a sequel they knew they wanted to tell when they made the first the one. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth I don't know why there's suddenly a block around this. So that's house. consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? They stole her The Odyssey genetics. carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material Jordy. was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? 
destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... it's evil. It is difficult well, to know. She seems perhaps to hate she her. is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no oh, choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. I don't think you know how brainwashing works, Aloy. Welcome, Sky Nobi! It's so good to see you! Yeah, we're doing- we're making good ground. I know you said you kind of stopped playing the game after a while. It's good to see you. I feel like there's a the lot The extinction to signal about. didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. They probably didn't care. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. We Throughout history, like every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Oh. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that, that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any simply. relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. So much math. The point is they got here, okay? That's that's the important thing. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena 
offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. What's interesting too, so it's um, air, weather, uh, plants, and water. If I remember correctly, the three Tanakh tribes, I think are going, I, I think are connected to like those three things. Um, so, it, which I could be misremembering, but I think they are. So I kind of wonder if it's gonna be the three Tanakh tribes. I, I mean, it's no coincidence, it's gotta be we're gonna go visit each tribe, and each tribe's gonna have one. Like, I know how video games work. But I also kind of wonder if their culture is gonna be, well, no, their culture can't be built around the AI because the AI wasn't present when their culture would have been formed. The AI has only been out there about 19, 20 years. So I wonder if maybe the subordinate functions went to those tribes because they would feel Connected, or it's just going to be a grand coincidence. I don't know. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. They have to make it long enough for those of us who have to do. And if I gather plus. Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them, we will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Especially considering we can't go after what we need to until then. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's I think contracts. we saw this already. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. Oh, okay, never mind. While you are retrieving the procurable there. subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It's not a very Sobek answer. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So, yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience, as Elizabeth intended. Indeed. <laughs> She's like, I know. You don't have to tell me. I think this is. Like, I haven't clicked it, but I'm pretty sure I have. So if the Descendants came to Earth yeah. on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology... Yes. Yep. As you're in... They appear to okay. further the energy field. Yeah, no kidding. Throughout every... Yeah, it was example, up as if I hadn't I clicked it, no but I don't think that's could true. withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Some of this is newer. Always. I see. Okay. I think we got everything. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. 
So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My Ironic. substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called <laughs> Las Vegas was located. Vegas! A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Would okay. I see Vegas stays so, in Vegas. three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? <laughs> they give me level levels. Uh, well, I don't know. Oh, I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. I understand. Should you change your times. mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. It's not all Do you on think you. I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Let yourself Live have friends! Example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system Wait, core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get Alternatively, going. Alternatively, let yourselves have friends. Onward to the west. The Literally, all they need is your face. Other people can do things, should you too. Wish to return east. Well? Whoa. I'm gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. <laughs> Can you imagine if you've never used a phone before, suddenly someone's like, Ugh! Who's talking to me? What? Okay. I need to bring Aether back for Gaia. Laurel and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could she head does. back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. We will, we will definitely do that. So she definitely does have imposter syndrome. As a person with imposter syndrome, you don't tell the person, no, you can actually live up to the crazy expectations. You tell the person, let yourself have friends. Guy is being very unhelpful. <laughs> no, you don't actually have to have the impossible yes. expectations of yourself that you have. This way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. 
to um get more of Gaia's components. Make her strong. Hey, Brennan, welcome. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us. We're up. gonna collect friends. We'll be okay. We okay. can call ourselves the Planeteers. Take these then. One to wear. One for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components. Give everyone rings. Be careful out there. <laughs> Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. All right, who wants to bet Silence has still been listening this whole time? The Tanoth clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Like I was saying, I didn't know how she still had all of her data because like the spyware would still be on there. Because that's how spyware works. I think Silence has still been listening this whole time. I'm very convinced he's just been listening this whole time. Okay. The base. I think he does as well. I think he just decided to play silent. He's gonna call us here soon and be like, Hush, <laughs> You! Let me take a look at you, stranger. Okay. What are you doing? You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Yeah. Oh, no. If it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Getting all like the time. North could use a hand dealing with these rebels. Ooh, this is the one kind of gun we don't have yet. Bolt blaster. Let's go ahead and get this since I don't have one of these. She was fun. Yeah, I liked her. Nora Sentinel. Ooh. We've gotten this before. Let's just go ahead and get this, just because I like to have more looks. Good paint for a good soldier. There. Keep your eyes open out there, soldier. Oh, bless him. Do it says okay. It's gonna be a little cumbersome. Can I save yet? Thankfully. I can't sell if you don't buy. Okay. Um, let's. There's so much to do. I think before we head towards these, I think it's a good idea to fill in some of the stuff around here. Um, so we have Poseidon, we have Ether, 
and then we have Demeter way out here, and then that's not counting everything else over here, which will probably be some Hephaestus and all that. Uh, we have at least one cauldron there. This is the Revel Camp. Some of this water stuff I don't want to do yet because eventually we get a breathing mask. I kind of figure that's where we go after Poseidon, but I don't really know. Um, but I think what we may do, there's still all this fire gleam I can get, but I can do that on my own time. Um, there's a hunting grounds we haven't gone to yet. There's ruins we haven't done, and I still kind of want to go up and check this out. And there's this rubble outpost. So I, I think we're going to do rubble outpost, maybe swing by and at least check these things out, and then go up here to Riverhelm. Um... So rather than continue the main story, I just want to kind of deal with some of this stuff in the area. Um, why blocks are here? Oh, it's because I'm missing the tool. I need to get it. Gotcha. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Uh, This is for the bolt blaster we just got, but I'm not that worried about it. I think more concentration is a good thing. know what I want from a lot of these things. Just being more silent is probably good too. And then this only costs one point. What is it? I'll gain valor by hit. That's fine. We can get to that because this is also a good one to get. Alright. So there's our points. I, like I said, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and then we will continue on. Uh, and fill in the, fill in the map a little bit.
Okay, I am back. I'm just getting situated here. Okay. So we are headed to the rebel camp. I'm assuming this must be the way over the mountain that she met, she found. So this way heads out further west, which is not really what I want to do at this time. But let's do, let's scan some things here. Setting it on fire won't help. My best bet. Um, Stay alert. We're gonna fast travel. I'd really like to fast travel here. Uh, I probably should have grabbed that campfire on my way out, because I really like to... Oh no, I couldn't have. Can I fast travel here? Okay, maybe I can... Let's just see how easy it is to go in and out of here, I guess. What, what is this? Do? Oh, there's a path around. There's a path up. I don't know what a sun wing is. Okay. Well, let's, let's explore that. I want to get that campfire because that will make my life easier. One way or another. Got him. This house melting on my clothes. is going to be a new thing over here. I wonder if these are the things you can eventually override and fly. Considering they're on top of the base, that would make a certain amount of sense. them right now. They look nasty. Plasma fin. Yeah, that's gonna be, uh, gonna be a no for me. That's the best way out of here if I want to head there. Leave me alone. This will break my fall. This is the other way in. Okay, we found that. So this is the next thing we want. So I think the reason why there's not like a lot more wildlife 
is probably because Demeter, or not Demeter, Artemis. Artemis is missing, right? So Artemis probably released enough animals and then maybe stopped because she released all of them. I don't know. I don't know why there was an owl on the ground either, but here we are. This is my stash later. Some uh, wind turbines. God, this already feels like such a long game, right? Like, remember chain scrape? <laughs> The town we were at before we went to Baron Light. Useful for making dyes. That's why I came over here. Plain song too. Excuse me. What's here? An image of the old world. Oh, cool. Oh, kind of looks like plain song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely doing this. And some kind of metal structure. song is there. We may need to go higher. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go higher. I think I'm gonna need to be able to see the turbines. Those things. I'm gonna need to be able to see those, which means I'm gonna need to be higher up. <laughs> we got it. Aloy, what, what, what? What are we doing? There we go. This image was taken from somewhere high up. Maybe I should try by those metal structures on the hillside.
here a second. music doing? Okay, it's not going to be here. It's going to be back over. Yeah, it's those two turbines. I don't know why I was letting it trick me into thinking it wasn't. I'm just going to go up the mountain here. Congratulations, you've reached the Western Grand Array stop of our Vista Point tour brought to you by Merriam Technologies and the Coalition of Environmental Reclamation. Resources on Earth are limited and extracting them can cause significant environmental damage. That's why Merriam Technologies uh, has developed multiple patents around automated mining of near-Earth objects. Many of the bount most bountiful of these metal-rich asteroids were identified by this array. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember Miriam and the Coalition of Environmental Reclamation are working hard to preserve this little blue dot we call home. Looked up, couldn't see much. Why aren't you? Why aren't more corporations like you forward thinking, ecologically minded? Thank you, pushing boundaries for taking care of the big questions, helping on Earth and space. Thank you. Went to the launch for your last platform. Amazing to see. Are you releasing more hollows? <laughs> had something to listen to. The flying AI gets really messed up. Alright. So now, on to this thing. We'll go do this rebel. I should find our leader. Put an end to this. All right, let's see what we got in here. Not the best place to come at them from. But I have other options. Let's see what we're looking at from here. Good time to pull out shock ammo. Something's coming for me. Nope, we're okay right now. Plan. 
What are you planning out there? Get the big guy. All right, he's down. Wow, it's actually making it very hard to see down there. As cool as that is. Judging by that armor, I think I know who's in charge. You were dumb enough to come walk under me. I'll have to figure out what to do with them later. Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. They've got machines in here. I could override them and set them free. Stir up some trouble. Apparently I can't override them. Game, really? You were like, override it. I'm like, okay. And then I couldn't override it. I take that personally. Sees me though. This guy. He's all painted. I want to paint my chargers. Gamer shoulder, my gosh. The ballista might be useful if I run into trouble. Things. 
into plain song um because i want to see what they have to say now that we've done what we've done No one gets in here. There we go. It's kind of like the back. Oh, side Is something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find him. Damn fool. Who is this Jax, exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Yeah. He's younger than me. Can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with. When yeah, that's sweet very descriptive. Drink, anyway, It'll help me find I it. I told him, stick your hand in Bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. That's over here, right? Yeah. We have stuff to do over there eventually, so... We'll get that at, at some point. Got a new rumor. Over here, friend. I know, you just don't really like me to interact with you. I hear there's a group of Tanakh pulled up near Stone's Echo. No one knows why they're there. One of our veterans wants to seek them out, learn what they're doing out here. Is that Jax? Tanakh, the Nutanga territory. Doesn't sound good. on here you're the one who spoke before the chorus maybe you can help this is not your concern out oh, these two we're not tolerated enough of your intrusions i think you can handle one more what is it my wife kalai she was to join the chorus she went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery but she must have fallen and now they are abandoning the search we have done enough brie the search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. 
And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, this will you look for her seed pot? This specifically tailored to False me. hope is a creeping vine. The right of discovery. What is it exactly? I wonder if they it's didn't a want her in the, to the promontoria, the place where the first Dutaro beheld Plainsong. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took, mark her eyes with dye, and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey, but because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to. But, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. How was Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions. Yeah, and her I bet, beliefs were I bet they, uh... We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance. Unpleasant. You can't speak in metaverse driving. So you had to admit Kalai. The game as a whole is a tarp specifically. They're very intent on their, their metaphors. The so I was too. On quick. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten the law. Plain song is dying, but Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands, she proposed that the Utara leave Plain Song and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. We could tell them that it doesn't Kalai matter because you're all dead in four seeds. months anyway. <laughs> Every Utara keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebearers or those of other significance. And when one passes, their they seeds literally are carrying seeds. The land I thought this was a metaphor the whole time. So life may spring again, which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in plain song. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. I think they killed her. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. I think that's why they're being so stubborn, is I think they killed her. And they don't want anyone to find the evidence. At this rate, we'll have nothing by month's end. I understand your concern. Your understanding won't keep us from starving. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll, please, later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yol. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. I mean, that's fair. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yul said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A claw strider. To hear the lone survivor tell it, 
More deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every I day. I have so much meat, I can just give it all to you. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. If you need to be in position to actually actively help your people. Without more food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month? Maybe two? The maddening part is that many are resigned to this fate. Like Fane, who would have us simply wait to die. You heard him. Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something. Yes, like send hunters to the old growth for food. Fane fought that idea too. You know, people, people can just leave. What happened to the hunting party as another like, you can just leave. If we let him. There's no gates. You, you all can technically leave you know anytime you machine want. That attacked your hunters. <laughs> it fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them then survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled Probably. tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds. Given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It, it would is mean a great cool deal concept. to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the claw strider. That's probably going to be here, so let's go ahead and do that. point out there are no gates on this town the entire town could leave and just have the chorus stay here by themselves and go do whatever they want like there there's it's not like they have an army there's just a lot of people going oh i want it to be different but i'm not gonna go move on my own or anything that would be silly hunting party then I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Do you want some berries for some healing? Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees, all claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Ree and Zan. Came right at me, slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it, yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees, and it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to playing song before I realized what I had done. Left Lau to die. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker, and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. 
Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. Herbalist and cook, but there's no dyer here anymore. They must have left after the attack. I wanted to check that out. Uh, let's go check out that cook. Oh. Did you need to hear more? No, I didn't mean to click on you at all, actually. Time for me to go. Watch yourself. Aloy, wasn't sure hey. you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite uh, nice. <laughs> well, sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again. I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Do you need rations, Hunter? I'd like you to cook some stuff for me, yeah. Spicy beanweed morsels. Okay, what do we got here? I just want something that's just basic health because this kind of stuff I'm just not going to remember like ah oh, yes the wheat slice salad is how I get tear damage just anything that's just health is what I want apparently that's just going to be local stew that's less exciting Warm meal can save your life out there. Okay. So now let's have a little look at you. So we have that. I want to head up here. We have these ruins. We have hunting grounds. So there's a lot of quests going on up here, which I think is good. This is all stuff I kind of want to do right now. Um, so we'll head in this general direction. Maybe pick up whatever that is. And then... Uh, go from there. Anything interesting You're stuff? back. I should get going. Of course. Thank you. I don't really... I remember you, but I don't remember specifically what quest you are. Can I get on there? Is this easy? We're gonna give it a shot. Nope, didn't work. I think there was some gems on there. You're fine, walk it off. It's just a little blight. <coughs> little, little area over here. Oh, one of these things. Okay. We'll figure out whatever that... Um, tool is eventually. It must get released through the story like other things do. Something under the ground? Huh. That's either a glitch or what's happening over here? Rebels? Didn't feel good, did it? 
What happened up there? There. Must be the Outlander's world. Hey! Probably. Come out, Danger! Outlander! I'll take her down. No, you won't. Sucks to suck. Oh, I want you dead. Not gonna happen. about but we did it so it's fine uh we're right here we might as well hit up the promontory base and just kind of loop around so doing that we'll just switch to this quest so this quest is for the um the chick that's probably dead that went missing uh and i'm pretty sure she is dead i'm pretty sure the council killed her what i'm in interested in hey liz welcome i didn't see you come in welcome welcome thursday's going well Really excited for the week to be over here soon. Uh, but otherwise, just kind of chilling, playing some game. We've had some crazy stuff happen in the plot so far. Uh, but now we're on to some side quests. Uh, let's just unlock this grazer site and then we'll move on. What was I about to say? Oh, so the question for me is, is it going to be as simple as these guys are stodgy and they just don't want to leave? Right, which is completely plausible. When your culture is built around like the land, the farmland, the roots, the everything, like there's a lot tied to leaving your spot, right? So it, it, it can be that simple, but I also kind of wonder if it's not gonna be that simple. Um, and if some of these guys are in league with the Tanakh. Or, or something. Looks like Kalai and the search party took down a few machines when they were here. Crazers. <gasps> Busy filling up the canisters on our backs. There's the broken bridge. I have to take care of these machines before I can look around. I hope you are having a good week so far. Freezer, don't attack me. Go get literally anything else. Freezer, go get literally anything else. Calls you back, yeah. There's a lot of that going around. Either they, either they do not say that, or they call back and tell you did not get the job. Yeah, yeah. Job market is rough out there right now. It really is. I 
sorry it still has returned for you. How's your other stuff going? I know you had some guys in for a wall repair a ways back. Did you get uh, everything in your house fixed up? again, but what I was actually looking for was this. Just irresponsibility because yesterday you got a call for a position at Starbucks that is in your top three favorite jobs across the fingers. <laughs> or for an interview. But yeah, that'd be good. The wall is just how they left it packed but not nicely painted. We'll probably charge you for it when you move out eventually. It's silly or everything else. Um, <laughs> well, hopefully, you don't get charged for getting the, the wall fixed. I'll keep some extra on hand. Oh, good. And yeah, 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 if you're up for, uh, if, uh, Starbucks is where it's at for you, I hope that works out. <laughs> needed more hard plates, so that's good. Okay, where am I trying to go? Anything I want in particular was this. Small supply guy. Footprints. Must be from the search party. Yeah, I assume you want me to scan the footprints. Well, you said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. Who are you talking to, Aloy? Like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. This way? I don't. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. The way under the stone arch. This? I don't know what that means. Can I just go straight up? Oh yeah, okay. I was already under the stone arch. Got Can it. Glide in? Yeah, hopefully. Do you mean by tomorrow or by like next week Friday? Oh hello. Debris. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. And a kiosk inside another store, so you had to follow that sort of rules and not get tips or perks. Oh, good job. Yeah, hopefully you're in a position where you can actually get tips and stuff. This broke off some time ago. Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be an easy trail to follow? Get all the perks in my Hey, yeah, that sounds 
really great. Like stain my hands. Ooh, hope that works out for you. An old Utaru trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. They're kind of hard to get because they're so small. And I do need them for some upgrades. So we'll grab that. Most of my upgrades are for like animals we have not encountered yet. So I think it's when we go after the the three AIs that we'll find those. Can't not check this out. I don't think there's anything here, but that's the look. It's a waterfall. What, you think I'm gonna not look at the waterfall? So much pretty stuff in here. Debris on the trail. Oh, it looks like pieces of the bridge. Fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm. We are currently looking for what's probably going to be the remains of a woman who came this way and is suspected dead. We're supposed to figure out if she's dead, if she is, retrieve heirlooms for the family, um, and try to figure out how she died. A lot of the trail's broken away. Well, I must have climbed her way up, too. There's a... Oop, over there. No! Gosh, dang it! Uh, it? Job's been good. I'm back on my normal hours. I don't think they're gonna go to any weird hours again for a while. I should hopefully not have to train anybody for a while. That was the only reason why um, my hours were different. But the guy we have in the position is doing well. But really, I trained two people since the start of the year. And both of them are doing well. So hopefully I should stay pretty normal for a bit. Um, and then this upcoming week, I have uh, Thursday and Friday off because I will be away for the whole weekend for a friend's wedding. Some time off ahead. So next weekend there will not be any streaming. I will not be the home. She must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. Telling you they killed her. Question is, did they just kill her because they disagreed, or did they kill her because there's a bigger scheme afoot? That's what I want to know. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. Scary things happen at stone tables. Just ask Aslan. I was playing song. Just like the first two times I saw it. Look at that. So cool. Flowers, ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. Looks 
Just like the edge broke off recently. I still don't think she could have fallen into the river from here. I should keep looking around. Yeah, I don't think you'd make the river. <laughs> you just did the Narnia reference. I appreciate that. The search very party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kali's. Well, we'll have to worry about running out. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalaya was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Let's get the stuff while we're here, and then we will. Bree mentioned this was part of the Rite of Discovery, Call of the Rocks of the Road. I must not have gotten to this part. <coughs> Bree mentioned this was part of the Rite of Discovery, Call of the Marks Look Old. Kalai must not have gotten to this part. Die trail ends here, with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Branches were snapped off recently. From some kind of struggle? And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. That's great. I'm glad that uh, it went well. There's a, like obviously it's supposed to, right? But there's always that fear that somebody comes out the other side and isn't doing better. There's some stuff there. So I'm glad to hear it. It was so successful. Already walking around without too much help. That's just great news. Perfect. Keep this green shine for later. Two bodies? Huh. One must be Kalai, but who's the other woman? Kalai. Those marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seat pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Stalkers. I'm not giving up. I got the data on it. Where did it go? Oh, I see it. I see it. I gotcha. method of killing stalkers because I don't have my uh, ammo that I used to use to pop stuff off. So I'm going to have to figure out how I fight them now. Mm. Machine will be bottled by acid. 
will be or won't be bothered by acid. Won't be bothered by acid. No! See if we can pop off something important. <laughs> Gotta catch him and make a big boom. Where'd he go? There you are. I see you. You're not as sneaky as you think you are. Boom! That's got you feeling bad. Yes! Is there more than one? There's more than one. Stab! I think this fight's over just yet. More than frickin' one! Ugh. There we go. This'll help. Oh, Stalker's got a friend. Just what I needed. I see you. I see you. Actively trying to think what I want to do here. Grab this on the go. Explodey! 
Whoa! And down. Okay. I better grab the killer's seat pouch. Might help identify her. Oh, so the killer, she killed her, and then the stalkers killed her, probably? Oh my god, okay. Uh, sometimes for, for surgery, masters are right. had two ankle knee surgeries, never had major surgery, so I can't imagine any more catastrophe. <laughs> okay. I need to just not walk through my own traps and we'll be okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, neat. I can pick those up now. That's fun. Search red eye watcher. What? Definitely tell her to feel better on her face. Nice. Yeah, your your family has been dealing with a lot of fun adventures. I feel like this should have worked. And I don't know why it didn't. Well, I guess we'll be soon enough. Broadly gathered everything. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plain Song will know who the seed patch belongs to. Return to Bree, but for now, I think we're actually going to move on to this quest by way of finding out what that is. There's a lot of people missing, no one going to get them quests, and we'll just try to knock a bunch of these out. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of between the two. Yeah, it's natural, right? People are stubborn, and we want to be like, I'm fine, I can go do it. I can't say I'd be any better if I was recouping. Falling gently. Oh, there it is. It's another one of those pods. I think we'll get the water breather from Poseidon, and we'll probably get whatever breaks these um, vines from Demeter. So I think that's how that's gonna go. Okay, now we'll go get to Old Growth. We could definitely ride a mount through all of this, but kind of exploring an area for the first time, I kind of want to walk it. The ground's covered in some kind of residue. Yeah, this game is so pretty. So, so pretty. It looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. While the hunter kept running. I think I might have hit a front part of the, like, I think, uh, we were supposed to eventually come up here. There There's that too. Like, oh, I finally feel like how I'm was supposed to feel this whole time. I run 
All right. Good to see you, Kathleen. We'll probably get to mostly side quests, honestly. I don't think I'm going to do any kind of major story thing on growth. purpose. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches. I feel like we hit a lot of new information. We should probably should let it sit a minute. There's a dead Otaru in the clearing. Must be one of the hunters. Gotta take out these machines before I can grab the seat patch. Those must be spitting out hunter killers too. happened upon me. Okay, that's nice Your of you. Appearance will have a lot of people talking. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a good time of year to get up and move and then for sure. I'll save the extra stock for later. But where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them? I better check for tracks with my focus. There. Claw strider tracks. There's the other hunters deeper into the forest. Some supplies here. Of course we're going deeper in the forest. Why would we not go deeper in the forest? That would only make sense. Um, we're gonna backtrack slightly. I wanna pick up this uh, campfire while we're over here. Green shine off carefully. This is a nice little spot. I have a crested gecko named, I call him Krat. 
Um, K R A Y T is a Star Wars word. Most people pronounce it crate. I've never liked that pronunciation, so I say crap. Yeah, he's a little, a little crusty. Um, I recently did the math, I think, come uh, July, I'll have had him 10 years. Big on the reptiles and the amphibians. I had frogs before that. Hmm. Doesn't make a good die. Well, here's the thing. If it's called, if it's a dragon, if I was like, oh my god, the crate dragon was coming, wouldn't you go, the crate dragon? Yeah, the crate dragon. Is it a dragon made of wood? Is it a dragon that's a box? This doesn't sound particularly dragony. So I always pronounced it crap when I was a kid, because why would it be pronounced crate? That's a stupid name for a dragon. Another hunter. So I pronounced Mastering it crap. Must have caught up to them. Okay, got the seat pouch. Better pick up the close rider's tracks and keep going. I'm not wrong, but I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I the third know. hunter. I should collect their seat pouch. He died where the close strider caught him. At least I can return his seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan the tracks. We got it. We're gonna find it. We're gonna go find the Velociraptor. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Claustrator right probably chased after him. Dog, it is. There's some kind of residue here. Yeah, I think we found the it's end of this quest at the beginning. Tree sap. I don't think it was from the close rider. Maybe from a weapon? They fought it with tree sap? Looks like All the close rider continued up the cliff. Wow, gave it quite the chase. There's some claw marks. Okay, I guess we're climbing this way. Whatever makes you happy, Aloy. Look up here. Yeah, we totally walked by. We were totally here already. Under here, anything interesting? Not really. I mean, it's pretty, but I can do anything for me. I see something. I think they're birdies, though. Yeah, they're birdies. tracks in here. And no sign of the last hunter, either. I do any of those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. Okay. Grouchy old man. Tuesdays at Black Mane Coon. Mane Coons are something. You should need him Black Panther or Cat. go ghost white heavy. Aw. Very cool. That's right. Show me the back. Get you burning. Oh, 
Oh, oh, you thought you had me. You thought you had me. I think there's more than just that one last one. Maybe that's all. Fire arrows equipped again. If I have shock arrows out, it would be helpful. I don't. Before my lizard, I had dark frogs, which I really, really liked having. Um, I had those for a couple of years, and I wanted to try something new. I'll have my crusty a little bit longer. He's got a couple more years in him, just based off of average. Um, lifespan. And then after that, I'll probably try something new again. I don't know what I'm trying to do now. It says kill the machines. I I don't know what machine I haven't killed. What machine have I not killed? Ah, oh, that one. I could freeze that machine. now know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing it, but at least now know I'm supposed to be doing it. Huh. Well, I guess also if I could just get its attention, it will come get me. way up there? Ugh, water in my boots. It's not gonna be our biggest problem. So there's no way up here, apparently. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, here we go. I just need to get its attention. There we go. If I can just get its attention, it will come down and get me. Come on, you're supposed to be a recon machine. You should be able to find me. Oh, I wonder if that's the Claw Strider. A sky drifter. It just won't come down here. Am I crazy? Like, 
It's saying there's a way up. I mean, I think I'm already up where it says there's a way up. Let's try this. Here I come. Finally got there. Yeah, I've always I've always loved my reptiles and amphibians. They're cute. I do better with them too than like I like other people's cats. I do like cats overall, but like I do better with creatures that don't really need me. understand you want me to do this and I can't because it won't come down here I mean like I can just sit here and cheese this if this is all I can do We have the ability. It's supposed to fly down and get me. things, you have to be ready to give it the stuff that they need. <sighs> there's gotta be, there's gotta be something I'm missing. There's gotta be, there's gotta be something I'm missing about fighting this thing. This cannot be what the game intended. We almost got it, though. There we go. We did it. Oh, she's she's there you go. But a feeling low was pretty resourceful. That looks like Lau. Gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Claw Strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? Yeah. It's okay. I felt bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. Hello, that's a big boy. He's gonna help. I can slow it down for you. Stay back and don't fire until I do. Watch for its claws. Not easy to take down. Okay, weak against shot. start here. No! I've got your back. Get him. Oh, that's nasty.
It's done. The gold velociraptor. Okay, where's the kid? There he is. Third favorite animal. I've not had one of those because I won't get an animal I can't afford to house properly. We have no reptile beds. Gotcha. It's Lau, right? Ben thinks he left you for dead. He made it back. I was worried about him. He said you saved him by getting the claustrator to chase you. <laughs> and he saved me by sending you after me, so we're even. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. Then here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this, not for a while. Hey, thanks. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale. Name of the deal's adhesive buildup is now available in your inventory. Hit fast moving enemies with adhesive buildup slowed state. Once in a stone. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Then that is just turn that one in. So we're not going to do that right now. So we'll head up to Riverhead and we'll head by way of that. I think this is going to be a slightly more involved quest. It's a crossbow that shoots adhesive. So I have a couple different ones, but it's specifically something that lets me slow enemies, it looks like, which is pretty cool. I want to find this spot along the way. I just need to kind of keep that in mind. Oh, that was somebody we already found on our way here. Just a little supply cache. Since the photo mode of the first one was so popular, they really went out of their way to um, make sure there was plenty of photo mode ones in it. Photo mode things in this. Resources. Domestic bliss calls. You need to do dishes and take out the trash before you start dinner. When do I think I'll be streaming again? Um, there's a chance for Saturday. Tomorrow and Sunday are holiday activities. Um, if my family ends up not doing anything on Saturday, then I'll stream Saturday. If I don't show up Saturday, it's because I was doing holiday stuff. Otherwise, it'll be during the week. Um, but if we hit Thursday, then I will not be streaming again. So we're hitting the uh, not a whole lot for the next couple of days stint. Which is why I was originally going to take a break and not um, stream this game right away. But then I couldn't wait. I, can I got the computer upgraded and I needed to do it. Mm -hmm. 
Got so many things. Let's see what we can upgrade here. This is just really cool armor in general, so I'd kind of like to upgrade this. Happy Easter weekend to you as well. Let's try that. This also has a lot it can do. Let's see how far up I can level this one. Yeah, I gotta fight a lot of claw striders before I can keep upgrading some of this stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of inventory management here soon too. Ooh, this is gonna be a... Oh, this is the one I bought, I forgot. Yes, I did buy this one. I do remember that now. This is what I'd rather upgrade because I use this all the time. And then this new thing that we got, we can upgrade. Oh, it shoots adhesive and uh, blast stuff. That's nice. That's very nice. At some point, I'm either going to sell or get rid of some of these, like, duplicate weapons, just so they're not kind of, like, confusing me as to what ones I actually want to have equipped. They really amped up the weapon system in this game, which is probably good, but it's it's also kind of complicated it to a point that I just ignore it. Okay, so let's see here. Currently, I have all of that. Um, it just makes me more weak to... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like what I have right now anyway. I don't like anything more in terms of look. Um, weapons. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So that does 81 damage. This does 84, but it also has damage boost and it's leveled up where this one isn't. So we'll probably get rid of this one here eventually. Did I get a better coil to put in here? Not really. I just need to take some time, sit down. I might do that tomorrow, because I'm not going to stream tomorrow, but I should have some time to play tomorrow. And I think I'm going to make some inventory decisions tomorrow. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Watch your flag! You alright? Hold on. Where is this new thing I got? This won't be useful fighting humans, so we'll switch to this. We can't let them defile our home. Push back! Do not let them Watch out, guys. Ooh, guys. 
just been doing the side quests of finding the people. Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be she back. Know that voice. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, oh, your warrior seem. I'm supposed to follow you, my bad. There's loot! All these people want to talk to me when I should be what looting! Green is early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. Where are we going exactly? This feels like a very long walk. I feel like I'm in Hobbiton. We may speak freely here. Uh... So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide mods leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Boss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, Fights better than ten There's just like not together. that many redheads, I guess. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people. But you're outnumbered and under equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter songs. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. What's the actor's name? I might recognize him by name. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, Oh, I thought those were the character name. Sorry. Reminded that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. Yeah, I don't know that name then. <laughs> what makes the path up to the drum route so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. I don't think it's in any way related, but I realized he sounds like the voice actor who does Mace Windu in the Clone Wars, but it's not him. What exactly That's do you do around name. here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem, but all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. 
Scores is a little deeper. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The Wide Mars sold them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those pods and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. I can take it from here. I'll get the pods your people need. Don't worry. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Alright, let's see what we got going on up here. I'd avoid the fields, visitor. Unless you wish to breathe toxins. Guess I better start the fight. I need to find a way up there. Assuming it's not as simple as climb the wall. Yeah. I wonder if we go down to go up. were made by machines. I should take a seat pouch to cue. It seems to mean a lot to the Ataro. <sighs> Borrowers. Same ones that killed Faust, probably. Let's 
find a way up these caves. Following up. Getting it done. Uh, how long are you playing? Oh, how long am I going to play? Um, it's coming up on 5.30. I probably won't go much more than an hour. Uh, it'll depend. I want to finish this mission, and then I want to go turn in the other missions. And I'll probably be done then, unless it gets too late. I'm starting to get real hungry, and, uh, yeah, but I want to kind of wrap up a lot of this stuff because I'll have a couple of days without streaming, and I want to be able to go after some of the, like, little fiddly bits that we've unlocked without it being from. There must be some entertainment value if people keep coming back. Going down. Ah, hello. Oh, there's more of this stuff. how I get that unlocked. I assumed it would be related to um, the main quest, but technically it could not be. So that'll let me get back up. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my boss has gone all this week too. Not necessarily his backup, but it does mean we have to kind of get by without him to make decisions. got here? Is this actually where I entered? This might actually be where I entered. I don't know. No, because if it was, boss would be right there. me out, but I don't want to go out. In that case, this is where I started swimming. Okay, that's why this looks familiar. Okay. That's why this looks familiar. Alright, because this is where we came in, and then we swam, and now we don't have to swim back through again. Um, so then I must have to keep climbing. useful. <sighs> so 
so many of these, you know, craggy walls look exactly the same, so I'm having a hard time figuring out where I've already been. Such finger strength. that without the focus. Not in a million years, but I guess that is the point. We're on the verge of two different lighting schemes, the game's kind of freaking out a little. Wide moss. To hippos. I can't see anything. I think we're coming up like on a sunrise. Like right over Abe cannot decide some of the sweat. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Kiwis. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines even knowing I'm here. <laughs> you have a lot of faith in me. Okay. supposed to be water still grass. We'll see if that actually works. in very convenient places for me, my guy. Let's spit 
test them out in more convenient spots. What do you think? No? We're gonna not do that? to look in a different direction. Oh god, this is going so horribly wrong. Everything's going so wrong. Did I really want to get wide mile parts? Absolutely.
probably didn't look like it really got much for fighting the white ball anyway, but it is kind of a random thing, so, you know. Alright, back down. That's not what I want you to do. Swimming's fine. Map of the cave entrance. I can make my way back to Riverhem from here. Is this not what I was supposed to do? No, that is what I'm supposed to do. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Something I needed to do. You were talking before I left. Saying something to Arnold? No, Aloy, he was not.
these young ones knew how to aim after all even so we owe you this victory huntress it wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here q i just brought in some parts even so i want you to have this it did good Ooh. by my people it'll do good by you i'll take good care of it be safe out there who's sharp shot bow let's have a little look at you at that It's not that great. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, that actually 
before it's upgraded, it does more damage than mine. So maybe it actually is really good. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to everybody in this town and then we'll go turn in those other quests. The first bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. <laughs> now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. who you are i came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one i wasn't alone your people are lucky to have q leading them stubborn as weeds that one i'm just glad we're all back in riverhem for good this time may the land always bloom in your steps aloy She showed up. She's kind of got that vibe. She's got that vibe. I have so much I can sell. So much. I uh, do you have resources? Do you have? I actually would love more blast cards. And in business. We keep All right. running into as long as there's nothing else in town to do, which it doesn't feel like there is. Um, let's see. It's six o'clock. Let's go turn in the, we might still come up here and at least start this stuff, we'll see, but let's at least go turn the two quests in in town. That way, in case um, that takes a minute, you know, we can kind of get a move on. I have six skills. I feel like I haven't looked here in a while. That's a good one. Oh yeah, we, we're doing that. I like that. We go. We spent our skill points. Let's go to here with fast travel. Back to plain song. And it looks like the town has largely come back since we've been back, which is nice. I hear Tanakh rebels have taken over the border gates west of here. Best stay clear of them if you're heading that way. Thanks for the heads up. More rebels. And the Utaru have enough to deal with. Maybe they could use a little help. We can definitely help. Figure out where all of this stuff is. 
think we this all is lament the... Calais's death, but perhaps it's time to move. It was a murder. That's I think this might actually have another level. You found it, or another layer. Bree, Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. That belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away? Well, she needs to stand trial. I can catch her. I think it's the old woman, right? Where That's is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. So he's, he's a... He's stubborn in old ways, but he's not bad. The other one's back. Oh, what? I'm trying to talk to this guy, and it won't let me. There we go. Here's bounty stitched into the perfect wares. Yeah, I mean, like, he's stubborn, he wants to do things the old way and all of that, but, you know, he wants to catch the person who murdered someone, so, you know, he's just, he's just old guard. There's Shale. I, have I should give her the seed pouches I recovered from the old growth. Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Is it safe to send out another hunting party? It's never going to be completely safe out there, but the Clostrider is dead. Here, the seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. May the land bloom in your steps, Outlander. Find its beginning and its end. And when you do, come back to me with your answer. Okay, so I'd like to find them. I don't know where the grove is. I feel like a lot of these things could constitute being the grove. Unless this is the grove? That might be the grove. We'll try. More than to explore the boundaries of the world. That looks like it First, could count as a grove. Sorry, I keep stepping on children. To the land but they hummed their busy song and went about their work. For though they had plowed the soil for as long as any land could remember. This this feels like something I would call a grove. If I was going to name something a grove, I, I would probably call it this. Just step it on them, younglings. Just step it. Our kin of Riverham withstood a Tanakh rain. Jacks would have been one of the last. Children, you can't force. Okay, well, they're not here, so whatever this is, this is not the growth. Yeah. Okay. 
token for purple silhouettes. Ah, there they are. They are at the grove. I just went the wrong way. Lao and Ven. Reunited after the old growth. There she is. The hunter that saved my sorry rump. I'm glad she did. I shouldn't have left you out there. Enough of that. If you hadn't run, you'd be dead. And no use to anyone. He's right. That cost rider was a killer. Thank you, Outlander. You saved us both. I wouldn't have been able to live with the guilt. What's next, then? Thunderjaw? A stormbird? <sighs> I've done it. More like a nap. Sleep well, then. I've done you both. deserve it. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go finish off this quest. We'll jump off of here. You found me, outsider. You figured out my little scheme. So now everyone knows. Where's your nose, bloody? It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then what is why? up with her? She doesn't and look good. I sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon Her our home. Eyes are running. If that thought caught Is she taking on, poison? it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. No, Grow her skin. Okay. I think she had like eight Death. light, maybe? It's the way of the world. The tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Aloy, use your eyes. Are you not paying attention? No one will remember you. You still failed. It ends with you. You think you stopped Kalai's beliefs from spreading? But when people hear what you did, they'll cast aside their Are we berating a dying no. woman? And you won't be around to do anything about it. No. She needed to stand trial. I didn't do Kalai it. Kalai deserves justice. Kel thought that silencing Kalai would silence her beliefs. Prove her wrong. That will give Kalai justice. It isn't much, but I want you to have this as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you. For revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. Yeah, it is a new thing. Cool thing. So he's not like completely bad. I'll make sure Kel's body is 
proper they seem to. Why will you fit me? Kerl's treachery will be a shock to many in plain song. You've done enough for us, Outland. Go while the roots are strong. I'll make sure Kel's body is proper. You have the exclamation point above your head. I'll plant Kali's seed pouch in plain song. You made that possible. Kel's treachery will be a shock to many in plain song. Kel would have gotten away with murder. If not for you, Aloy. I'll always be grateful. You exposed Kel's treachery. I'll plant Kali's seed pouch in plain song. Okay. I don't know why they have the exclamation points over their head. Alright, let's look at what we got here then. So main quest is the three big things. The meter, Poseidon, and Aether. Uh where is this? Yeah, 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 we could probably just go check in on that really quick. But at the same time, I feel like it's going to be a whole quest. Um, yeah, I think we'll call it here. Um, I'll find a nice spot for us to save. And I think that'll be good. We'll see, like I said, if I stream... Um, or I might stream Saturday. It's gonna depend on I can my uh, family plans. Otherwise I'll try to get in at least one during the week before I'm gone for the week. So we'll see, but I could get pretty busy. But at least this way, like main story, it's an obvious place we need to stop, right? Like, or like starting point up again, right? Like we haven't started any of the three main missions. Um, side quest, there's just really like the one, um, you know, we haven't done. I just, I don't really have the stamina for, like, another long one. If that ends up being a longer one. So I think we'll leave it here because this is just a good place to remember where we're at in case I can't come back for a while. If I can stream Saturday, I probably can stream for a while and we'll be able to make some sort of, uh, progress. Um. And I may fill in a few of these dots in between. We'll see. Go back through and get some of the stuff. But elsewise, we'll kind of pick a story and go, right? We'll probably do Demeter last because it's so far away. So we'll either do Poseidon or Aether first just because we can encounter them. Uh, and we'll figure that out. But thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you Saturday, but if not, I'll see you sometime soon, hopefully. I uh, hope you all have a good uh, start to your weekend. And uh, if I don't see you a good Easter weekend.